executing how we are going to use this so you can see one simple scenario here this is one video server where the video has been stored okay this is our internet the cloud by using this internet or network my client is going to see the video so what is what are the main challenges we will get here when we are going to stream the video the server to client bandwidth will vary over time server to the client it the bandwidth whatever is there it is going to vary with the changing network congestion levels why it is happening i'll give you the exact example here see here i cannot say that from only this video server only i am watching the movie it is not possible there will be n number of people who is going to watch the video right so suppose in my uh, network my network speed is good so what will happen all the packets will reach to me very fast but in the same case if i am using 5g of network and someone else is using 4g someone else is using 2g what will happen the network the packets it will reach to them late because their consumption power is less so that's the meaning that bandwidth will vary whenever the stored video comes from your server to any of the network it will get vary because of the uploading and downloading network situation of your access network why i called as a access network somewhere some point will be there like it will come to one more server and that server will give here it is a direct connection but if i will place here one more network one more server here then this one will come here and from this network it can go up to many right that is my access network so all these things in variety levels the network congestion will happen so why if it will happen like this what will the main uh, problem will get sometimes due to this packet loss or delay due to this congestion what will happen in the result you can find out the poor video quality how it happens might be you have seen some of the videos you have seen very uh, nice scene is going on some fighting scene is going on so one person is uh, like fighting with another person but due to your network something happened and you are seeing the second scene okay you you will lose that scene and it will connect to the next scene so that things happen because we have lost the packets due to our congestions we need to control this congestions how we are going to control we have the algorithms we have to use this algorithm to control the congestions if we cannot control all the packets will get lost or sometimes you can say that in the news and all they will read the next next lines or they will read the previous lines so due to the delay okay all these things used to happen if we are using the internet now you can see here this is my streaming stored video what is happening you can see the stored video is there these are my cumulative data values here in this way my uh, 30 frames per second it is receiving now you can see one more video also has been sent here okay one more video is also there so this is a diagram where it is going to show you that network delay how it is happened first it has been given here but after some time it is going to be received so that is your network delay so now here what happened you can see the streamlines at this time the client playing out early part of the video okay he is watching but while server still sending the latter part of video so it is it has not been passed like from the server it has come the video has been sent but in the user side they have not seen till yet so that is the meaning of uh, all this uh, like diagram so here the video input has been given video has been sent but here till here it has been already sent but we have not seen so this is all these things due to your congestions that is just a diagram now we will see the challenges whatever is happening in your streaming stored video i think you have seen this kind of diagram uh, in many times what is the main, uh, what is the meaning of this diagram this is nothing but continuous play out constraint so once the client play out begins playback must match with the original timing so when we are when the client is sending the play out okay any of the things so that things has to reach to your friend also suppose if you are sending any of the video to your friend if you have the network proper but your friend doesn't have the network so what will happen this kind of buffering will come and it will take some time also to load the video 
that is nothing but it is your delay of packets because of network issues here also i have written but network delays are variable it is a variable which is also known as jitter so we'll need the client side buffer to match play out requirements what will happen from the server it has been sent to the client but client is getting this kind of buffering message because from the server side the network is proper but in the client side that is a network delay and that network delay we can measure in the term of your variable this variable is also known as your jitter and this kind of play out it has to match always with the server whenever the server will send any packets it has to match with this and it is going to calculate or it is going to calculate the packets and it is going to show you the video what kind of other challenges also we can we may receive the client interactivity sometimes it will get paused sometimes it will fast forward sometimes rewind sometimes it will jump through the video only okay because why all these things interactive things is happening because of this packet loss sometimes you can see the video, video packets will be lost only it will ask you to resend or retransmit so that also use happen because of your network issues so these all are some of the challenges which you may face here you can see the play out buffering how it is going to happen here you can see here here it is a cumulative data here are my time period is there so i have sent the constant bit rate your video transmission is going on okay i have sent the trans constant bit rate video transmissions what is happening in your client side see here the diagram here the constant rate okay all the outputs uh, all the outputs are same but here you can see it's receiving not receiving sometimes pause sometimes rewind something and all is going on why it is because of variable network delay so the client video reception is in this way only but in the client play out delay so if it is buffering if it will buffer it means what will happen it will get stored once it will get stored or downloaded afterwards you can see the video properly okay this is your play out in the sense you have already downloaded if you are watching it is online maybe you will get it this kind of because of your variable networks because of your jitter but if you are getting the constant bit rate it means already the video is downloaded or else your uh, network is very good so client side buffering and play out delay it will compensate for network added delay or it is also known as a jitter value 